Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve the volume of a cylinder. As you can see, there are four important things that we need to remember when solving volume of a cylinder. The first is that the formula to find volume of a cylinder is pi times r squared times h. For the formula, r is the length of the radius, and the radius of a circle is the distance from the center of that circle to the outer edge. So this is the radius. Sometimes a problem will give you the diameter, and the diameter is the distance from one edge of the circle all the way to the other edge. Diameter is the length across the entire circle. If they give you diameter, you have to change it into radius. In order to change diameter into radius, you will take the diameter and you will divide by two because the radius is half the length of the diameter because radius is from the center to the edge and diameter is from one edge all the way across the center to the other edge. H in the formula is the length of the height. If we just draw a simple cylinder here, the height is going to be from one base all the way to the other. It's the distance from one base to the other base. And then the final thing is that after you determine radius and height, you substitute those into the formula and you can solve. So once you know radius, you'll substitute it in for R. Once you know height, you'll substitute it in for H. And then you'll use your calculator to solve for the volume of that cylinder. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and do our first practice problem of three on volume of a cylinder. As you can see, we have our cylinder here and it's been labeled with seven inches and 11 inches. Now we know the formula for volume of a cylinder is pi times the radius squared times the height. We just have to determine which one of these is the height and which one is the radius. Now I know that the height is the distance from one base to the other. So that distance is going to be 11 inches. So this has to be height. And and then radius is going to be the distance from the center of one of the bases to the edge. This is going to be radius. Radius is 7 inches and I know height is 11 inches so I can substitute those into our formula. So now I have pi times the radius squared where radius is 7 so I'm going to replace that r with the 7 and that's going to be multiplied times the height which is 11 so I'm going to replace that h with 11. After you substitute in, you have to follow the order of operations. So the first thing in the order of operations you have to do is exponents. We're going to square 7, so 7 times 7 is 49 times 11. After you do the exponents, everything is multiplication. So you're going to multiply from left to right because that's how the order of operations goes. So we're going to do pi times 49, which is 153.9. I'm just going to round to a tenths value and that's going to be times 11 and then to get the final answer you're going to do 143.9 times 11 and you will get 1693.3 and that's going to be inches and it's inches cubed because we're talking about volume and volume is always cubed so our final solution is 1693.3 inches cubed for the volume of this cylinder Moving on to our next practice problem, this problem gives us another cylinder and this time we have two different distances that have been labeled on our cylinder. We have 22 feet and we have 15 feet. To determine the volume of the cylinder, we're going to do pi times r squared times the height. We have to determine what r is and we have to determine what h is. This cylinder has been turned on its side and a very common mistake is that people will think that the distance from the bottom to the top is always the height and the distance from side to side is always the radius and that's not the case. The distance from one base to the other base is going to be the height and then the distance from the center of a base to an edge is the radius. So even though this cylinder has been put on its side, it doesn't change which one's going to be the radius and which one's going to be the height. I know 15 is going to be the radius because this is labeling from the center of our circle to the edge of the circle. And I know that 22 is going to be our height because it's the distance from one base to the other base. So now that I know what the radius is and I know what the height is, I can substitute them into our formula. So we have volume equals pi times the radius, which is 15 squared times the height which is 22 and now order of operations says the first thing we have to do is 15 squared 
So we're going to square 15. So we have pi times 15 times 15, which is 225 times 22. And then we have to multiply from left to right. So we're going to say pi times 225. And that will give us 706.9. And we still have our times 22 because we didn't multiply that yet. Then we're going to multiply 706.9 times 22. And we will get 1,551.8 as our volume. And this volume is in feet. And it's cubic feet or feet cubed because we're talking about volume, which is in cubic units. So the final volume of the cylinder is 15,551.8 feet cubed. Moving on to our last practice problem. This problem gives us another cylinder and it's labeled 35 inches and 17 inches. Now we know the formula for volume of a cylinder is volume equals pi times the radius squared times the height. We have to determine the radius and the height. In this case, we have our base here and we have a second base here. I know that this is the height because that's the distance between the two bases. Now radius in this case is a little bit different because instead of giving you radius for this cylinder, the cylinder gives you diameter. So you have to convert the diameter into the radius. And the way you do that is you take the diameter, which is 17, and you're going to divide it by two. And I know we're dividing by two because the radius is from the middle of the base or the circle to the edge and the diameter is is the whole length so it's twice the length of the radius so if they give you the diameter to change it to radius you're going to divide by 2 17 divided by 2 is 8.5 now I know that the radius is equal to 8.5 inches 17 was the diameter so we changed it from diameter to radius by dividing by 2 now that I know the radius and the height I can go ahead and substitute them into our formula the radius was 8.5 I'm going to replace r with 8.5 and we're going to square that times the height which is 35 the first thing we have to do is our exponent so we're going to square 8.5 when you square 8.5 you get 72.25 times 35 still and now we have to take that and multiply times pi and when you take 72.25 times pi you get 226.9 times 35 and then to get your final answer you're going to multiply that times 35 and 226.9 times 35 is 7941.5 and our units were inches so it's going to be inches cubed for the volume of this cylinder so this cylinder just had the extra step of converting from diameter to radius and then once we knew the radius we followed the same process and, and we substituted the radius and the height into the formula to get our final solution and if you want to do some more practice on volume of a cylinder go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video and you'll get taken to a free worksheet download as well as an interactive quiz that grades itself and tells you how you did Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya.